My name is John Twydale. I am with DCD Design. I am a professional engineer in the province of BC, and I'm the project manager for DCD Design. And DCD Design is a Canadian manufacturer of duct, pipe, and cable installation tools. In the next half hour or so, I'm going to introduce uh, DCD Design and our tooling. DCD is located near Vancouver in the city of Richmond, which is near the airport. Uh, so we have easy access to shipping and, and to air flights. We've been producing directional tooling since 1986. So it's our 25th year. This is an overhead view of our warehouse and offices. We have uh, design and prototyping and production all in the same building with sales. And we have a large inventory of, of sizes and tools and parts for your customers as they need them. It's a major focus of our production team to keep up with sales demand so that we can ship 95% of the time. I'll introduce uh, DCD Design. We produce horizontal directional drilling tools. And I'm going to focus on the basics today. I'm going to focus on DCD's duct pullers and our breakaway connectors and our dub light swivels. I'll also introduce the wire mesh pulling grips, our plow grip, and our fiberglass duct rotters. Beyond the basics, we have our threaded inner duct carrots, we have our electrical cable power grips, our breakaway swivels, and our uh, dub swivels, which are all detailed on the DCD Design website. I'm going to start with the duct pullers. This is a staple for directional drilling. You can't start a pullback unless your duct or pipe has a good pulling head connected to it. DCD's duct pullers are available in three basic styles. We have our 619 series duct puller, which has a hard polyurethane nose cone and uh, four expanding shells to engage the inside wall. Fairly simple mechanism but uh, very efficient. We have our 620 series. These are directional specific. Uh, these are the original duct pullers we've been producing for years. These use three large expanding shells to grip the inside of the duct wall with a nice large surface area to distribute the load. And we have the 650 series. These are the sealed duct pullers with a permanent outside sleeve. Inside, they use the same four jaws as the 619 series that you see here. We also have on our website, dcddesign.com, complete specifications and a catalog and cut sheets for all the individual products as you need them. So those are some good resources over and above the sales line and uh, an email. The first product I'll introduce this afternoon is our 619 series expanding duct puller. I mentioned this has a polyurethane nose cone for durability. This is available from 2 inch up through 6 inch sizes in uh, standard schedule duct. And this has a very simple mechanism. It has four expanding shells mounted on a threaded mandrel. So as you engage the puller, the jaws expand, engage the pipe wall, and they're contracted with a pair of O-rings again. Now, so this is something new, but these pullers, uh, this is an old photograph. In the next uh, six weeks to two months, we're going to start uh, rolling out a new design here where these jaws have three O-rings on them instead of two. It's in response to a customer uh, request to offer a little more redundancy for the pullers. If you're in the midst of a pull and you break an O-ring, you only have one O-ring left. It will function, but... Uh, the feeling was two O-rings out of the three offer a better redundancy and a better performance. And uh, it was a simple enough change for our engineering team to tackle and just apply to the next build. And so those parts are out at the machine shops being fabricated now prior to plating and being brought in for final assembly. Mid-October is our schedule, so you can see them uh, probably by about November. The second duct puller is our 620 series. This is the original. This is our standard expanding shell duct puller. And this one has a fairly broad range. This one ranges from one and a quarter inch uh, with sizes all the way through 12 inch to suit uh, uh, dimension ratios 11 through 17. 
And these are also available in a metric series for um, metric ductwork. Keep in mind that these are a threaded expanding shell. If you have an odd-sized duct, if you can provide us with the inside diameter of that ductwork, we can probably fit a duct puller to it. <coughs> for example, recently uh, there's been the introduction of the C900 PVC municipal water pipe. We actually have uh, fitted the metric pullers to the, the C900 pipe for a couple of operators with good success up through 10 inch sizes and DCD Design is working on a custom sized shell to suit the C900 pipe so as this enters your jurisdiction let us know because uh, we can supply duct pullers for this pipe. In addition replacement parts are always available for these tools. On the website there is actually a reference chart or o-ring replacement for all the duct pullers. And should the jaws get worn out and blunted, then uh, replacement jaws are also available. The third style of duct puller DCD offers is our 650 series sealed duct puller. This one uses the expanding jaws to grip the inside of the, di of the duct, while the outside diameter is prevented from stretching with this permanent outside sleeve. This is especially good for thin-walled pipe, keep it from splitting or belling out, and there are O-rings mounted in grooves on the inside of the shell to keep this sealed. In addition, there are O-rings around the pulling head itself to seal that bore so that the puller remains fully sealed from water or mud ingress. More features of the 650 series is the alloy steel pulling head. This is a, an alloy steel shaft from the pulling eye all the way through the threaded uh, tail end. So that's a one piece unit all the way through. And uh, as I mentioned, it does have the same mechanism, the same jaw set as the 619 series for easy maintenance. And once again, this is also available in metric sizes for uh, metric uh, pipe. This one's a little bit more specific because the outside diameter is fixed. It needs to fit on the outside diameter of the pipe to seal properly. So those are three options for pipe or duct pulling heads. We have other options, but I'm going to move on and uh, discuss our breakaway connectors. Now these are something a little bit different. There are only a small number of breakaway manufacturers in uh, North America and the world. But I think DCD probably has the most options using custom shear pins and tensile pins in a variety of sizes. The breakaway connectors are a mechanical overload protection. Uh, essentially a mechanical fuse. If you exceed your, your safe working load, the breakaway connector will fracture. So it, it's used to protect the utility that's being pulled, whether it's gas or fiber optic or polyethylene pipe. It keeps it from getting stretched beyond the manufacturer's allowable uh, load ratings. It's becoming more of an issue for a number of municipalities who want confirmation that their uh, infrastructure hasn't been compromised during the installation. If you have a breakaway connector in series with the pins matching the utility's safe working load, if your connector does not fail, you have not exceeded the utility's um, load requirements. And that's a good proof, a good simple proof for uh, a lot of operators. The breakaway connector is made up of six basic components. There, are, there is a connector at each end, in this case number one, number five, and they're tied together with a set of pins, number four in the middle here. And they're sockets for five pins in total. You can use one pin or two or three, four or five pins depending on the load you're targeting. And as I say, if, they, if the pullback exceeds the permitted loads, the pins will break, protecting the utility. DCD has two connector sizes to cover the entire range from 750 pounds load all the way up to 45,000 pounds. The pins are available individually from 750 pounds to 9,000 pound ratings. So if you mount five 9,000 pound pins in parallel, those will add up to a 45,000 pound braking load. And DC guarantees these pins to a plus and minus 5% braking load. The engineering department, me, essentially follows just at least a five-step procedure to make sure that these pins are exactly on target before they're packaged in batches and delivered to you. 
first step is, of course, get the material. I have to get the right material with the material certificate. I have to verify that the strength of the material is what it says on the certificate. I have to calculate the required area to reach the required breaking strength, given the required material properties. And then I have to verify that the machining has been done to tolerance and actually break sets of pins out of a, out of a whole batch to prove that the pins are on target. And we have test certificates for each batch of breakaway pins. The pins are supplied in kits, five pins per batch. So uh, one pin kit has five pieces in it. Each, pa each package is batch marked, as I said, so that we can verify that each pin set is on target. Uh, breakaway pins are a consumable item. They should only be used once. The reason for this is as you stress one of these pins or a set of these pins in the breakaway connectors, you're stretching the pins. As you approach fracture stress, but don't reach fracture stress, you've stretched the pins out. So they're going to be a little bit unpredictable should you try to reuse them. So DCD cannot recommend reusing pins, and uh, so your contractors will be will simply have to have spare pins on hand. That's good insurance. Each each pull you replace the pins, you clean the connectors, and you start with a fresh set each time. As I said, with their only two sizes to reach the the, the range, we have uh, the 560 010 and 020 series. Each one has a set of pins related to it. The uh, smaller sizes have pins ranging from 750 to 2,500 pounds. The larger has pins ranging from 3,000 to 9,000. And depending on how you arrange the pins, you can get them to add up to a whole range of breaking points. A single 750 pound pin in the smaller breakaway connector will fail at 750 pounds. Mount five of the 2,500 pound pins in that same connector now you've reached a load of 12,500 pounds. So one connector covers that entire range simply by substituting different pin combinations. This is all available in our catalog. It's all available on our website for more details. You can just check as you need. So if your customer is looking for a breakaway connector and you just want to verify, DCD Design needs to know what the breaking value target is. And then we can locate the proper pin combination the proper connector size to suit the application. Another product I'll introduce this afternoon is the DCD Double Light Swivel. This is the, another standard of the DCD product line. We, these are the original directional swivels. Our first patent on the quote harsh environment swivel was filed in 1994 once we realized what sort of abuse drillers were doing to our gear. And so DCD coined the Dub Light and that stands for Directional Underground Boring. The dub light swivels are built with a three times safety factor, and they use angular contact bearings, which are ideal for axial load. They have a three-stage sealing system. The first step is a close-fit labyrinth between the two rotating halves of the swivel to exclude gravel and grit. A second layer is a nitrile rubber lip seal, which bears on the shaft and excludes liquids and mud and fine particles from the bearing cavity. The final sealing layer is a solid grease pack in the bearing cavity. Should any liquids or contaminants get past the two previous seals, the grease is there as a physical barrier to keep contaminants away from the bearing surfaces. The dub lights are available in capacities from 8,500 to 90,000 pounds, four and a quarter tons, all the way through 45 tons. DCD makes a lot of different swivels with a lot of different ends. The most common end fitting is probably the Type 2 clevis by clevis fitting. This is a very flexible option for operators who uh, may not know what they're getting into, job to job. You can attach your utility to the one end, you can attach the other clevis end to the end connection, whether it's on the reamer or or other connections. The Type 6 flange connection bolts directly into most standard reamers. So this shortens the overall connection point between the drill rod and the utility, which many operators prefer. 
New in 2011, we have our Type 7 API pin uh, connection. So this uses the tapered API threads to mount directly onto the drill rod and directly onto the utility to maximize or minimize the connection lengths. When we're talking swivel, DCD has our, our numbering system. So the 503 is the dub light line of swivels. The 200, 600, and 700 are the series, that's the end connection. The last two digits of a dub light swivel are the tonnage. So a 20,000 pound clevis by clevis swivel is a 503 210. 10 tons, 20,000 pounds. And that's a common, uh, common miscommunication. So just keep in mind that we're dealing tons, and a lot of operators do deal in pounds. So we just have to do a quick conversion there to make sure that we're getting the right size swivel for you. Speaking of tonnage, I'll just bring up bearing life, because it always comes up sooner or later, usually about the point when the swivel needs servicing. We say there is a three times safety factor on the swivel, and there is on the steel tensile components. Bearings don't play that way. Bearings are not a linear system. At 100%, at safe working load, you'll get 100% lifespan out of the bearings. But if you could convince the operator to over-specify the swivel relative to the rig, you're going to extend the swivel life significantly. If you can get a 30,000 pound swivel on a 20,000 pound rig, that's about two-thirds capacity, you'll actually get four times the lifespan out of the swivel, or more practically four times the reliability out of the swivel before it needs servicing. Bearings run on a sliding scale. As you push up the load, you shorten the lifespan. At 110%, just 10% over safe working load, you cut into the swivel's overall lifespan by about 25%. Overload it by 25%, we're closer to 50% of the lifespan of the swivel gone. And that's a typical problem where we hear from an operator who's been running his swivel at 100%, 110%, and uh, is sure that there's a three times factor. Well, there is. At this point, it's time to service the swivel, and DCD Design offers a return materials program where we can bring a swivel back in, assess it here in the factory, and rebuild it to as new conditions. We replace the bearings, the seals, we assess the mechanical components to make sure that they're in suitable condition, and we can essentially rebuild the swivel and turn it back around again in uh, two to three weeks, typically. So just give us a call if, you're, if your customer needs a new swivel but he's not ready to purchase a new swivel. Usually we can service a swivel. You have to send a couple of photographs with an RMA request and we can have a look and see if it's worth bringing in for service. Comparing our swivels with other swivels, at one point we did a head-to-head -head comparison with a DCD dub light swivel and a couple of the other guys. This is a 503-204. So four and a quarter, 8,500 pound safe working load swivel. And this chart is available on the website. And this chart is available to you and to your customers to make a fair comparison between different manufacturers. So this just compares the numbers. Physical dimensions of a DCD swivel are about two inches diameter by nine inches long, much bigger than the other guys. A DCD swivel weighs in at five and a half pounds, to three or three and a half pounds. DCD swivels almost twice as big as the competition for an equivalent safe working load. You're getting more swivel for your money out of this. For example, DCD use angular contact bearings. I've mentioned before axial load. These are ideal for axial load. Another manufacturer uses deep groove ball bearings, which are fine for radial load, for axles. Not so good in, in uh, in a tensile axial loading capacity. They're not built to go sideways. Another operator uses a needle thrust bearing. Built for thrust, but the needles are a very small bearing element, and if any contaminant get into the swivels, they degrade very quickly. So a comparison life coming straight from the manufacturer's calculations, DCD has up to 10 times the lifespan of some of the other swivels. Our clevis pins are larger and use uh, hardened clevis bolts for durability. We use a dual shoulder design so that the clevis is actually supported by the pin for an additional strength. So typically it comes down to dollars. DCD will come a becoming a little more expensive 
but when you compare the details, you can see that you're just getting more for your money in the end. Now beyond the dub light swivel, there are the dub swivels. And the dub lights are a popular economical option. The dub swivels are even better. These swivels share design features used in the maxi rig swivels produced by DCD. The 100 ton and up, up to 500, up to 700 ton swivels. We've taken features from those designs and trickled down into a 5,000 to 160,000 pound range, 2.5 to 80 ton capacities. Now we have a 5 times safety factor on the swivel. We're using taper roller bearings or better. We now have a four stage sealing system. In addition to the close labyrinth to keep out gravel and grit, we introduce a dual face seal which is used in military tanks and caterpillar bulldozers. We still have the lip seal to exclude liquids and mud, and we still have the solid grease pack in the bearing cavity to finally uh, protect the bearings from any other contaminants. Once again, the dub swivels are available in a variety of configurations, and uh, in addition to the other connections, the dub swivels are now available with the API box connection. So once again, if your operator wants to mount directly onto his drill stem, that's an option. Beyond the duct pullers, beyond the breakaway connectors and the swivels, DCD still has a whole catalog of applicable tools. For example, wire mesh pulling grips. Everyone offers grips. We have an entire catalog selection devoted to the grips. So from light duty, on-premise use, all the way up to super heavy duty triple weave grips, we have them. But DCD wire mesh grips are a little bit unusual. They're handmade in Europe by craftsmen who have been doing it for decades. But the craftsmen weave them from the tail up to the eye. They start at the back and bring it back to the eye so that there's no crimps to catch or tear loose when you're directional drilling on the, on the tail end of the grips. All of the loose ends are crimped and swedged into the eye fitting, the eye connection. So have a look at the catalog for the variety of pulling grips available. Another product that DCD offers, more specifically for the agricultural or irrigation market, is the vibratory plow grip. This is designed to install PVC or polyethylene ducting by uh, the, the vibratory plow attachment for tractors. So this is a very quick mounting method, so the agricultural guys really do like this. You pull the sleeve back on a spring-loaded mechanism, insert it onto the end of the pipe, release the sleeve, and uh, give it a good tug, and it's engaged onto the pipe wall. It's similar to the 650 series where it has a set of jaws inside and an outside sleeve. But then instead of a pulling eye, it's got the chain to mount onto the vibratory plow. Pull the, uh, the irrigation pipe into place, come up to the surface again, and disengage by once again pulling back the sleeve, knock it loose from the pipe and remove, and you're on to your next pull. So the irrigation guys like the speed at which this goes for golf courses or subdivisions or other irrigation systems. One more product I'll mention today is the DCD fiberglass duct rotters. Once the duct work is in place, the next contractor will come along to install the cable. Now this could be an add-on for some contractors who are doing both parts of the work, and this could be an add-on for Brant Tractor to those contractors to provide a one-stop shop for directional tools and for cable installation with the duct rotters. The duct rotters are available from 1 8 diameter up to half inch diameter fiberglass rod in lengths from 50 feet all the way up to 1500 feet. And these are made to order in the DCD plant and we can ship these same day. Now, pros and cons of made to order, we can ship them quickly but there are no returns on these products so please give us a call with your customer to make sure that we've got the right rod diameter, the right lengths required and the right fittings available to you to suit your, your contractor's demands. So we're coming to a conclusion, and uh, once again, I'll say there's more on the website, there's more on the YouTube channel for all of these products, but let me summarize by offering a number of DCD advantages. We're a Canadian company. There's no exchange rates, there's no brokerage or shipping delays from DCD Design from Vancouver. We produce high-quality products in-house. We, we uh, monitor our quality control levels. We're ISO 9001 accredited. And you can reach us from 7 a.m. to 4.30 Pacific Time via the 888 toll-free number, via the sales at dcdesign.com email address. 
And keep in mind, we're on the Pacific Coast, so we're an hour behind you guys. So if you have a mid-afternoon customer who's desperate to get equipment for the next day, odds are we can ship it this afternoon, and we can get it to your location tomorrow morning. Typically, two to three days is, uh, is common for most orders, but if your customer really has to have it, we can probably pull it off. Give us a call directly, and we'll see what we can do. Some more DCD advantages. We've been working hard on the DCDesign.com website over the past couple of years. And if you've got a PC on your parts counter, you can access the internet, you can get the entire catalog, specifications, cut sheets on all the DCD products right at your fingertips, right in front of your customer right there. You can navigate around the site via the product groups for HDD, or swivels, or wire mesh grips, or a number of other tools. We have the YouTube channel linked here. We have new products. We have a regular blog postings to uh, discuss questions that have come up from the phone lines. We'll, when we have an answer, we will try to publicize that as best we can. We have a monthly sales promotion that you can subscribe to and get uh, monthly updates on what's on special with DCD Design. For example, this month we have our duct checkers, so once the duct work is in place, the uh, next contractor is going to come through and have to confirm the diameter of the duct is sound. Next month we're actually going to have a head-to-head -head promotion in uh, celebration of the IQ show going, down, going on down in Louisville in just two weeks' time. We even have Twitter accounts, we have a Facebook page so you can follow us and you can like us, and you can ask us questions by any one of these contact methods. Thank you very much for your time this afternoon. Thank you for joining us. Uh, as I've said, if any questions do come up, feel free to email us or call us, and uh, we are here for you guys. So thanks once again for joining us this afternoon. Have a great afternoon and a great evening.